Hey, this is Daniel from Matter Runner Pro. Today on set, we were talking about lighting in a small space and hiding your lights within the set. For this type of thing, I like to use small lights like LEDs. They don't get hot. You can kind of tuck them in places. They're dimmable. They're really great. We have the Matchsticks from Cineo here, brand new lights. They're really nice, really good color rendition. Um, and we've got them here set up around Brie. And I'm using a, a data lay as the back. We'll walk through how we do this. I've got mine icon set up. I'm all framed up and I, I have Brie doing a, a little scene. She's going to be typing on the computer and then she's going to turn towards the multicam and then she can turn back towards the computer and she's going to finish what she was doing. That's basically our scene. So the first step in this procedure is I set up my camera I wanted, I framed it up the way I like it. Then I set up my exposure based on the what's in the background, what I can't control. So there's the store behind her through the window. So I base my exposure on that and my white balance, everything's set up based on getting the store looking the way I wanted it to. Then I started lighting up. The first thing I like to do is throw a backlight in for separation. I have a data light in the back here, which is gonna give uh, some separation to her hair and also because there's lights behind her in the in the scene it makes sense It makes sense for there to be a light there because there's lights behind her uh, The the viewer is not going to be tricked by that and think something weirds going on The next thing I did is she's at a laptop and obviously when you're at a laptop that predicts uh, light onto your face So if we turn that light on Basically, it's gonna light her up from the front. What I did was you could put it wherever you want. I mean, we tried it at first just sitting on the keyboard. What ended up happening was we got really terrible light coming up underneath her nose. So what I did was I took this box here and just set it on this to put it at a good level. So you can't see it from the back. It seems like it's, it's, it's good. It also makes her face look nice, which is going to be, you know, ideal. We want our subject to look as good as possible. The other thing is the multicam system here has a big TV monitor on it. TV monitor, again, is going to light up her face. So using the same color temperature as the computer screen, because it's a similar kind of thing, I put another a 12 inch matchstick over here. So if we turn that one on, you can see that she's now lit from that direction. The way this is gonna work is when she's looking towards the computer, she's lit. And then when she looks towards the, the multicam, she's also lit. And everything looks very natural, it's very smooth. The only thing that I wasn't caring for is that the computer that she's working on was a little bit dark in the front based on the exposure. Since this room, there's not a lot of light. We threw a little Area 150 Fresnel on the ground, which is tungsten, I'll turn that one on. And because remember, the rest of the light in the store is tungsten, it's warm. So this matches the environment of what, what's in the store. I didn't just shine it right on the laptop because that would have looked really obviously lit. What we did was we kind of put it a little bit towards the bottom. And also I put a, a half scrim in it so that it kind of uh, made the light not completely even. That's kind of how things look you know, in, to life, to your eye, it looks like that. So by putting all this together, so let's start the scene from the beginning. So turn towards the computer, Bree. So if we were to start and Bree's typing, Boom, 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 she's typing on the computer, and then she needs to adjust the multicam, so she turns towards that. She works on the multicam a little bit. And then she turns back towards the computer to finish her work. And there we are, we have a nice scene. It looks lit very naturally. We used a few simple lights that we hid within the scene, and then one light that we couldn't put in our small space, we put it outside. Uh, these, these little matchstick lights are really great. They got really good color rendition. They're easy to, to put up wherever you want. In fact, I'm being lit right now by one. We just, we didn't have another light stand sitting around, so we just clamped it to this uh, ladder that's, that's over by my cameraman, and we're able to light me up and, and keep my exposure even throughout this whole process. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're in New York City, every Thursday we have events here in the store. Come by and see us. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, and I'll see you next time on set.